one thing he has sucks at is coding. But AI is so advanced at everything else. So the bar that determines if it's good is really high. So today, we're going to put AI to the test by making it create a full-on game so we can once and for all answer that question. But first, we need an idea. So let's see what bangers AI can come up with. A meme-inspired tycoon escaped the TikTok trend obstacle course. What the heck? Roblox Rapture Apocalypse Arrival Viral Meme Heist. I actually kind of like this one. But I can't actually choose because that'd be against the only rule of this challenge. That everything must come from AI, including the idea. So I'm gonna ask it to pick the best idea. Okay, Meme Wars The Ultimate Showdown. Perfect! So, um, let's start development, I guess. We created the new game, open the toolbox in Roblox Studio, but because they'd be breaking the rules, I have to get the Roblox AI to do that for me. Add some meme models such as Doge, Hepe, or Grumpy Cat. Absolutely amazing. You may want to resize or modify these models to better see your game style. Nothing changed. Alright, step 3, adding basic character controls. Alright, here's where it gets fun. So create a script for basic movement. So I'm gonna just copy the script. I'm gonna ask the Roblox AI assistant to do this for me. Okay, perfect. And so now when you press F, those are gonna temporary speed boost. Let's go test this out. Oh, and if I press it again, I get it again. Alright, this game has potential. Okay, step 4, building the meme map. So I'm gonna just copy and paste this and see what it gives me. Oh my, this is the whole thing. That isn't exactly what I had envisioned for the game, but I can't change anything. Add meme themed power ups. Insert a part and insert this script. But here's where it gets tricky. Let's see if AI can even add any UI. Oh my goodness, that actually looks good. Huh, that's cool. Now let's test the game. Okay. Is that a hedgehog? Is that, is that someone's hair? I don't know if that's what's supposed to happen, but I'm gonna ask the Roblox AI to fix this for me. And nothing changed. Power-ups are spawning below the map, and they do keep respawning, so that's a good sign, I guess. But now I can't press F to use my ability anymore. And this is AI's biggest struggle. AI can code, but it can't debug. And AI's poor debugging abilities make it very difficult to create a full game with it. Let's see if AI can fix this. And it looks like it was able to fix it. But the score, time, and stats labels don't change at all. So let's see if it can also fix that. And there's yet another bug. Yo, the score label updates every second now. But actually, it should be doing that for the time label. But it's not the biggest of deals, so let's just move on. Well, now you can see the score next to my name, but other than that, the game is exactly the same. The time and this stats thing don't work at all. So we need to ask ChatGPT to fix that. Okay, step one, basic setup for UI and stats. Okay, so it's giving me an error here. Fix the error. All right, I'll accept the change. We'll make a countdown timer that updates the time label every second. And it does not work at all. <laughs> So, the Roblox AI is looking for the time label, but they actually named it the time er label. Here, there's no R, so it's looking for something called time label, but that doesn't exist. I'm gonna ask it to fix this. Oh, uh, what is this? What is the Roblox AI doing, bro? They could have literally just added an R right here, and it's fixed. They added a script with the name time label. This code thinks it's this, but it's not. What is it? Let's see if it can redeem itself and just fix this. Oh, no. No. So this script is literally having an identity crisis. It's thinking that this script is a UI element. You can't see it on the screen. But I'm gonna ask it one more time. This is final chance at redemption. It did the same thing. Okay, bro. It made the same mistake three times, bro. This is a UI element, not a script. 
But if you look at the class name right here, this is the script. I can't take this tomfoolery from AI anymore. I'm just gonna tell it what to do. If AI can't solve something as simple as this, there's no way it can do any complex project. So now if we press play, there we go. Perfect. Now it's working. But the thing is, there really isn't anything to do in this game. And the first scripts that we added do absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna go see if AI can make these work. Oh no. Still, absolutely nothing changes. The only thing is though, Doge over here is walking. And we also need to make it more of an arena. So we added the huge arena. Let's check it out. Oh, and I'm stuck on the map. But guys, we can see the Doge actually jump every three seconds. That is a good sign. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to fix the stats label. Hmm. All the stuff is still stuck under the map. I'm gonna just ask Assistant to fix this. It's still under the map, bro. All right, we have signs of life. I think I broke the Roblox AI, guys. Now let's see if ChatGPT is better than the Roblox AI. Okay, now it spawns a little bit too high. It's still spawning under the map. Looks like the power-ups aren't gonna work. So let's just make the killing system. Let me go test this on a two-player server. So now if I touch the other player, it does absolutely nothing. When I touch the part, it doesn't do anything. And when I hit somebody during the boost, it also does nothing. So I'd consider this a fail. But before we call it quits, there's one last thing we need to do. We need a name for the game. What are these ideas? Epic Power Up Rush? Oh, what the heck is that? I'm, I'm gonna just ask it to pick one. And Meme vs Mayhem. I mean, I mean it's, it's alright. Right. The game is out now. It's on my profile. AI cannot make a game. I think we are safe. For now.